video is on how to uh, set your idle with the ProFlow 4 with the Elder Block. ProFlow 4, Elder Brock. Uh, go to, um, do it with your motor running and warmed up. You have to have 100% temperature. So go to Advanced Tuning. Go to Idle Timing. This is in your software. Now, there's your uh, IAC. It's at 100% right now because the engine's off. But normally it would be, uh, you know, you want it around 10, 15 if you got a really lumpy cam, but uh, around 10. So then you uh, just, uh, real simple, just come here, make sure your temperature is up, your coolant temperature right here. Make sure it's up, and then keep an eye on your throttle position sensor. You don't want it to uh, be more, more than zero. So then you... Uh, just adjust your idle screw, which on this one it's right here. And this is a ProFlow 4. It just happens to be sitting on a uh, on a Holly uh, high ram intake in a Holly uh, uh, Sniper uh, 92 millimeter uh, throttle body. Now I'm running 29 pound injectors, uh, Elder Block injectors, Elder Brock injectors. So you people who got a problem with the way I talk uh, could just work it out and then you set your idle now if you keep going over if you go over and you get off a of zero here shut off your key wait till this check mark goes to a yellow X after you shut off your key and then turn it back on resync and then your throttle position sensor should be back down to zero then you could adjust on your IAC a little more now like if you're up at 50 when you start it 50% Screw the thing, the higher the uh, percentage of IAC you're using, the more throttle blade you need to open up. So you need to let more air in through the throttle blade than the IAC. It's that simple. So if you're really low, like zero on your IAC, you need to close your throttle blade to have the IAC take more air in. You want about... Oh, 10 to 15, 7 works. Whatever works good with your motor, as long as it's under 20, you're in good shape. But um, if your throttle keeps going off of zero, then you need to shut the key off, adjust it. Now, once you get it close to where the throttle, where you're a half a turn either way, then your throttle position sensor shouldn't be uh, going out of uh, sync and... Uh, you should be able to um, just adjust it finite from there and get it down where you need. So if zero, you got your uh, throttle blades closed too much. If it's 50 or you know 25, your throttle blades aren't open enough. It's that simple. All the IAC does is take air in at idle. Let's air past the uh, throttle blades at idle. That's all it does. So the more it's open, the more it's working. So you want to keep her down around uh, 15, 7. Somewhere between 7 and 15 seems to work on this motor. You'll have to experiment with your motor. But that's how I do it. It seems to work. I've been playing with this Elder Block uh, ProFlow 4 stuff for about 5 or 6 years now. And I pretty much think I got it figured out, I hope. But anyways, that's how I do it. I don't see any videos out there on how to set the idle. I see some people are a little bit confused on setting the idle. They think you just come over here and turn the screw till it feels good. Well, that's not the case. You got to get the IAC working. You got to get the throttle blades cracked open just a little so that they don't gin them shut on you. So that they actually bump stop on the screw right here. Or on the uh, elder block it's going to be in a different place but anyways uh you want it to bump stop on the screw you don't want the throttle blades to bump stop on the throttle body you want them to bump stop on the screw so that's my take on it uh thanks for watching